uh, the, the uh, most profound and most uh, sacred aspect of patience. That is patience or tolerance of understanding. For example, <clears throat> uh, able to comprehend all sentient beings can attain Buddhahood. Able to comprehend all sentient beings have Buddha nature. Able to comprehend everything from the galaxies to the five rupees in our pocket are illusion. Able to comprehend all of this truly, sincerely and clearly is the third, the most sacred aspect of patience. So these are the three aspects of patience and uh, uh, these three will uh, 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 cover all aspects of patience. But of course in detail there will be many. It goes with every single thing that we have to involve in life until we attain the Buddhahood. Always we have to be equipped with the patience. <clears throat> Uh, if there is such thing, a bodhisattva without patience will be in big, big trouble. Uh, then the fourth paramita, which is uh, diligent, or uh, diligent, yes. And uh, diligent is uh, a very important part of the uh, paramita. Uh, uh, because uh, mm, it is the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, consistency uh, which will uh, lead you from one step to another. Uh, if we are not diligent, uh, then uh, we will uh, stop uh, anywhere uh, when we get a little bit, uh, uh, you know, uh, how do you say? Uh, uh, annoyed by it, uh, in a way uh, get little bored or uh, little uh, tired, then uh, we give up and give in. So extremely important and it is uh, taught in three stages. The first stage is uh, uh, consistency. So it has to, uh, it has to, whatever you do in the uh, Dharma practice of uh, Bodhisattva path, you have to have the consistency. And uh, uh, then the second is uh, uh, with uh, joy, with uh, honor. So once you have the consistency, you have to be able to continue with, with joy, honor, and appreciation. You can be hard-headed, and uh, uh, you can be like a bulldozer, uh, goes on and on and on, but no appreciation, and no joy, and uh, no honor, uh, then uh, after some time, uh, it can become negative. So you have to remember why you are doing what you are doing and uh, you have to constantly uh, remind yourself and renew your aspiration and inspiration so that way you are knowingly, happily, with honor, you are consistent. So that is the uh, second aspect of uh, uh, diligence. A third aspect of diligence is uh, until you reach the Buddhahood, uh, you should not uh, uh, become 
proud of what you achieve. You can achieve uh, wonders on the path. Uh, you will find yourself uh, totally transformed. Uh, you find yourself uh, respected by others, uh, held up by others, uh, so on and so forth. And uh, you should uh, never uh, uh, um, make, uh, uh, you should never allow that to become a hindrance for your continual progress. Uh, whether somebody respects you or not, whether somebody upholds you or not, uh, whether, uh, whether somebody uh, misunderstands and uh, so on, the other way around, uh, your inspiration, your aspiration, your honor should be consistent without, uh, without, uh, 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 without hindered by them. So that is the uh, third aspect of, uh, uh, of patience, uh, no, third aspect of diligent, and uh, sometimes this aspect of diligent is described as uh, you should be uh, never satisfied about doing good things. You should never say to yourself, I have been good enough. Now I don't have to try to be good anymore. There's no such thing. Until you reach Buddhahood, you can be better. And, uh, and uh, so this way, this way, uh, it should, uh, uh, you should be able to continue uh, without, uh, uh, without uh, forging some kind of uh, accomplishment and uh, then uh, get stuck there and nothing left but fall back. So this shouldn't happen. So that is the uh, three aspect of uh, diligent, diligence. Uh, then the uh, fifth uh, uh, parameter, which is uh, uh, meditation or contemplation, uh, paramita. Uh, this is uh, 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 the uh, uh, this is the most out of all the uh, 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 six paramita. Uh, the most uh, uh, important essential paramita is this one. Uh, uh, because, uh, of course, the uh, uh, last one is very essential because that involves with the, with the uh, base of uh, the fifth. The uh, uh, wisdom uh, is the primordial wisdom, so that way it is very important. But primordial wisdom is there in every sentient being, including amoebas, you know? Yes. But, uh, but uh, essential is at, uh, as it is, uh, 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 even after so many years of teaching, uh, practicing, empowerment, you know, still one can't recognize it uh, truly. One can have glimpses of it. So, the glimpse clear enough so that one is convinced. One can explain about it. One can somehow maintain some practice on it. But that is far from realizing it. Uh, I throw even one gram pebble into Atlantic Ocean, still it will create a ripple, you know? So ocean as big as Atlantic Ocean, pebble as small as one gram, 
still creates ripple. So it is far from true realization of the ultimate essence. <clears throat> so, so this way, this way, uh, the the uh, 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 important as it is, the most important of all paramita is this one because this paramita through practice will make you realize the sixth paramita. So it is the most important. Uh, health is the most important, right? But healthy food and good doctor makes you healthy, right? So this is the healthy food and good doctor, the sixth, fifth paramita.